going on, everybody? It's Steve here with the Week 6 matchup against Jace. Uh, the second time I've played Jace. First time was last season in the quarterfinals. Uh, I did do a trade. I got rid of Frostmoth. I got rid of Barbarical. I picked up Salazzle and Metapod. Metapod obviously doesn't count, but when looking at this matchup, I realized that my two fake odors were too slow. Really wanted Salazzle. Salazzle also deals with Celesteel better than Ensign does. Uh, that's obviously going to be sashed most of the time, but otherwise it, it fares fairly well. Switch in for Aromatisse if I need it. Uh, if I want Trick Room up, Salazzle is my only way of guaranteeing that outside of Ally Switch. So obviously that's going to be part of my team, and Metapod I'm going to be getting rid of basically immediately. Uh, Jace's team, he could bring anything. I expect Thwacky to cover the Primarina. I suspect Celesteela comes. I do have a lot of anti celesteela options now, though. Maybe he'll get scared by the Magnet Pull, the two fire types. Um, but I do expect either Celesteela or Aromatisse, or both, to cover for the Drago. Uh, Dragapult. Terrakion wouldn't be surprising. Suicune, obviously not surprising. Uh, Marowak with Lightning Rod could cover for Magneton. I uh, don't particularly think he brings Scraggy against me. Uh, okay, good. I don't have next week's team here. <laughs> uh, here's what I got. I got no Incin, I got no Primarina, I got no Crobat. Uh, I've got Choice Scarf Regidrago, though. Uh, protect covers for knockoff. And I can also just fake that I don't have Scarf if I just protect turn one and then switch out. But this outspeeds max speed Dragapult by one. Or, or three. Might be three. Uh, Dragon Energy kills his entire team other than Steela or Aromatis. Simple as that. And I compare that with Shadow Tag Gotharita. I'm really going to try to abuse the Shadow Tag this week more than anything. Uh, just max HP, even defenses, fake out foul play, trick room, and helping hand as normal. Lady Vengeance, the Delmise, that's from uh, Divinity 2. Is the, the boat is Lady Vengeance. Colderberry, Steelworker, Shadow Claw, Grassy Glide will be good if he brings Thwacky, Anchor Shot. I think those three have perfect coverage against him. Just max HP, max attack, a little into special defense. This guy's never really anything too groundbreaking. Uh, Magneton, Sturdy. Protect Thunderbolt, Electroweb, Flash Cannon. Webs are there if you, for some reason Steel is out with Marowak. Uh, Flash Cannon can, in fact, Oko a Terrakion, depending on the investment. Thunderbolt uh, also can Oko a Celesteela. Agua Berry is here with Sturdy, so if I get high horsepowered or Stomping Tantrum, I heal up to uh, 30%. I don't die to a Grassy Glide. I was considering Custap Berry, but the threat of just dying to Grassy Glide the following turn makes Custap pretty useless. And we've got Stukovtopus, the Grapple Oct, finally coming in. Iron Ball, Detect, Sucker Punch, Close Combat, and Soak. Soak makes it so Grassy Glide is absurd. Close Combat actually hits most of his team super effectively. Sucker Punch hits the Dragapult. Uh, this guy obviously has nothing for Aromatis, though. Will underspeed and kill Greedent, if that ever comes up. And here I go again. That's the name of a White Snake song. Fake out, uh, protect, overheat, foul play, max speed, max special attack, focus sash with oblivious. Uh, Celesteel counter, good to get trick room up. The problem is I then have to switch in. I might have to do some double switches. Uh, I think I got the, the tricks here. Let's message Jace till I'm ready. Jace has been quite busy with the um, uh, 
EGC Evergrande circuit. Handling everybody's replays. BBL showing up in that. A lot of us are 2 and 1. Taze 3 and 0. Oh. Sukaba, Kanor, and Samax are all 1 and 2. So everyone's at least won a game. I am playing on Thursday, right? Yeah, okay. Jace was just online. He logged off just a couple minutes ago. I will put tags in the description to tell you when to flip because I'm probably not going to say much here on out. What does shiny grapple lock look like? It's like a luchador. But the original wasn't shiny. It's Duke Octopus, of course. From my sword and shield nuzzlelock, I caught Stuka or sorry, uh Kalabapus. The apathetic. As my route encounter, I named him Stukoptopus, and then he immediately died. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Let us... I know Ben and Sukaba just played, so... Let's watch their third game, because I saw the first two. Does that show up? Yeah, it shows up. Game three. First two games were very good. He's brought the Steelix this time. And there's a Salamence this time that wasn't in the either of the other two. Hydro Bump right away into the sturdy Steelix. And we see the Life Orb on the Salamence. Heat Wave takes out both. Uh, not looking good for Ben. I'm not sure what he was planning there, but it did not go well. There's the Protect. He can just keep Hydro Pumping, I believe, into that. Okay. Goes for the Air Slash. Maybe trying to stop. No, I'm not sure. Switches in the Grim Snarl for the Shadow Ball. It does eat that up. And the Air Slash finishes off the Gengar. This is going to be a quick one. You could even switch out the Salamence, set up a light screen. And Ben's already calling GG. There's Flash Fire. Yeah, he's just going to start. Okay, just goes for the Foul Play, but now it's just Shadow Ball. And Foul Play, and that should get the KO. Yes. Yeah, Ben says, nice switch up. That was not an exciting game, guys. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Yeah, I got annihilated last week. Uh, the first two games were very good, though. Steelix. I think uh, Ben forgot to bring a regen on his Tangela, if I saw that correctly in game two. Which is probably why he didn't bring a game three. I really want to know what he was going for. With the uh, Steelix plus Vika Volt lead. Steelix doesn't have mirror code or anything. Oh, let's go back to the damage calc. Alright, we're back. Combination of me starting the video too early and uh, Jace being slightly late. Just a few minutes. Um, this one. Yeah, basically what I expected, I think. Uh, he's in 2022, which is unfortunate. I don't know what the actual difference is, but Um, he's got a lot of anti-Delmize, it looks like. Does he? It's really just steal and probably knock off. Not a lot of anti-Magneton. And enough anti-Drago. What is his likely lead here? Dragapult? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, this team does look crazy. I'm sure. Uh, no Greedent, which is a bit unfortunate. And he invited the bots. I will stop the timer until I see all the bots. Uh, maybe he's only doing one at a time. I'll stop the timer until he's in. Now, how do I... Punish a lead. Obviously, I can't stop Dragapult from switching out with Shadow Tag. It's a distinct problem. Who's Matthew Sandslash? If he reads uh, leads incorrectly into Drago, I'm down to lose like that, honestly. And let's. Who is this guy? Can I, can I, like, mute spectators? Ignore spectators. Okay. Um, yeah, I will go with that. This gives me two extra lives to live things. I got Scarf Drago. I can switch them out if... <clears throat> He's going to fake me out or he leads... Uh... Aromatis Celesteel specifically I will want to switch out against. He brought much better good stuff than me. Uh, I pretty much left my good stuff on the bench. Other than these three. These three are basically always good stuff. This thing is specifically for Stila and Terrakion. And it probably does pretty well against Thwacky if he didn't bring high horsepower. Let's see, Thwacky, Terrakion. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna fake out Terrakion. He's stuck. And if he fakes out, like, we could just trade fake outs. Um, and if we do, then I get a Dragon Energy off next turn. Okay, I still get an energy off. Let's go. He's scarfed too. Okay, that's good to know though. What did I bring in the back? Okay, if he close combats again. Scarf Terrakion is, is very good to know because that means this is not beat up. Because that doesn't make any sense. I think in this point I just sack Drago. Yeah. I get Trick Room off and he's still stuck. I feel like he's just going to knock off onto the uh, Goth. This is not a priority move, so it's probably knockoff. It is. Okay, I got the trick room off. Uh, I think... Yes, shout out to the Jordan. He is currently watching the game. This definitely kills Terrakion at minus two. Maybe it was worth switching out Drago there. Alright, then I got Trick Room, I live the close combat. And then I heal back up, I get the flash cannon off, I kill it. Grassy Glide, okay, that does a lot. Hopefully he brings in something fast. <laughs> I wonder what Helping Hand... Foul plated 27% to Thwacky. Or, yeah, Foul Play. 
27% of the wacky. Okay, so it's either Eviolite or no attack. I am going to Helping Hand Thunderbolt and hopefully that can do quite a chunk to this Suicune. He could just protect Suicune, um, but it's good to verify that Suicune has protect. I feel like I am very behind in this game. Um, because Salazzle uh, is going to be going too fast. If I had brought Delmize instead of Salazzle, I think I'd be in a decent spot. I suspect he's got Celesteel as his last mon. He's probably just going to knock off my berry. Ah, uh, Snarl. Damn. Well, okay, that's decent damage. Knock off my berry. I'm going to try to get a Trick Room in and protect. Uh, Snarl did too much, but he could miss. But at least I get a fake out and a guaranteed Thunderbolt, unless he wants to. Uh, I got out scarfed again. Got out scarfed last week. Got out scarfed this week. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's good. Not snarl. Oh, this is sick. These leftovers. No more heals. Uh, do I even want... No, I do need to sack the goth right now. I think, again. But yeah, going back to that turn where I sacked Drago, it would have been better off. Um, crit here would be great. Or para? Oh, Tailwind. Okay. This is funny. Uh, Thunderbolt did 56. Definitely need to protect. <laughs> no, it, which he calls and he just, he doesn't call, okay. This is confusing. You still can't switch. So let's do it this way. Because knockoff does not kill me. 28.6, yeah. And I get the kill with Thunderbolt if he does not have protect. Nice. Oh, this is so good. I just go for overheat, I think. Sash, Tailwind runs out. I basically have to. Uh, let's get a flash can. Yeah, okay. Ooh, big crit. Okay, and what's he got? Knock off again. Uh, overheat, fake out, because I know I have Sash, then I protect and I kill him with foul play. He's got a double protect. I can't believe I pulled this back as long as overheat hits and he's not Oka Berry or I don't flinch. I missed. Fuck. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> 
Uh, it might not actually be over, though. If I can just foul play. Because I am min speed, so I kill the Thwacky if his last move isn't protect. Then he reads into the protect, probably still have to hit overheat. That might re reveal an item that he might not have wanted to reveal. He has shown that he's special. This is a tight game, though. Actually, ah, uh, does it matter? Yeah, it does matter, because I can't lose you this turn, and he'll have to protect eventually. Could he have faint? I want to make sure I'm doing this correct. Protect, foul play. Okay, there goes Thwacky. Let's see what he did. Nice, okay. Do I just helping hand, or do I double? I think I helping hand. Let's go, I won! Nice! GG. <laughs> I think he gave that to me. Uh, I really think he gave that to me intentionally by doing the air slash. We'll see. I think it was still guaranteed. Like, he didn't have an item. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. He didn't have an item for uh, to resist the overheat. So I'm pretty sure that's a KO regardless, even if he did go after Goth. Let me make sure. Um, so steal a special sweeper, overheat. Yeah. What if he's like max HP? Still very much in my favor. Okay, how do we want to do this this time? I know he's Scarf, so my Scarf is significantly worse. We'll try these two with Delmize and Stukoptopus in the back. Hopefully I can get some uh, some soaks off. I can't believe I pulled that back, honestly. That start was absolutely abysmal. So the purpose behind this lead is to fake out get Trick Room off. What happens after that is much more tricky. <laughs> Uh, it could have been AV, in which case I didn't need... No, he protected. Yeah. Snarl Skull, Tailwind, that definitely doesn't have Protect, or he would have used it. Maybe Calm Mind. Justified Scarf, Close Combat. And Thwacky is definitely EV Light. Magneton putting in work, Shadow Tag putting in work. That's for sure. So he's got to get his lead right again. Uh, he definitely did last time with that scarf. And actually, he doesn't know I'm scarfed. So what if I lead my faster mods? What if I just go full out fast here? Uh, with the anti-trick room. I'm going to try that. Yeah, because I got Magneton for both his Fairy and his, his uh, Celesteela. So even if he leads Aromatisse with something else... Okay, good. Oh, this is going to be good. Now, 
Do I Dragon Energy? Or just Draco Meteor this week? No, I Dragon Energy for sure. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see how much this does. Ooh, not too much. Okay, there's a Tailwind. Switch in. Uh, yes, because he's stuck with steel now. So I protect and I switch in. I get Shadow Tag off. He snarls. Probably. Ooh, bait out the protect. Ice Beam. Okay. That's his last move. Ice Beam, Scald, Snarl, Tailwind. Let's get the overheat and the fake out. We'll take out the Steela. Wait, what? Explain? Does it not affect flying types? I think I just sack here if I can. And get up a trick room. Obviously, I'm raising his. Yeah, that's not going to come close. Okay, ideal. Helping hand flash cannon. He's stuck in Stone Edge, actually. Uh, was I faster or slower? Uh, Thunderbolt. This was when Trick Room was up or no? Trick Room was up. Flash cannon. Okay. So Suicune is Okay, so I think I just kill Terrakion and reverse Trick Room again. Yeah, hopefully that does enough. It should. Maybe he's just speedy. Oh wait, 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 wait. If he snarls, then I'm fucked. So with the helping hand this turn. <sighs> yeah. Good call me. So I should have brought my trick room mode, that's for sure. Uh, now he brings in Thwacky. Oh, if I can get him on a knockoff here. And he knocks off my choice scarf. That would be pretty pog. Uh, actually, who's... Well, I'm even faster than Magneton, so even then it wouldn't really... Matter or help. But this covers for a fake out anyway. Just grassy glide, okay. Snarl, not ideal. Uh yeah, I'm just gonna Thunderbolt and Draco Meteor, cause uh, do I even want Thunderbolt here? I think I do for now. Burn, whatever. Okay, knock off. Yeah, that's ah, really bad. Okay. Uh, well, 
lost 45.2%. I will switch out again because I need to start spamming dragon energy. I think I just lose to steel in the back though. Okay, so Scarf Drago is not working because he's not bringing Dragapult. And he has Scarf Terrakion. Ooh, that was risky. How much did Snarl do before? Yeah, okay. Uh... Crit Dragon Energy, though. Double double Crit Dragon Energy. <laughs> uh, I think he can pretty safely switch out the Thwacky just to bring in a Fake Out. Tailwind. Now, this is pretty doomed unless I get absurdly lucky. That's 49%. That's probably a roll. But definitely not anymore. Double crit. No crits. Then die, though. This guy's beefy. GG. Okay, and really quickly, Shadow Tag. Why did Celesteel switch out of there? Does it not affect flying types? I thought Shed Shell got used. I didn't know it worked all battle. I guess it doesn't get used. That's the only thing... Right? I didn't switch in Goth that turn, did I? There you go, Dragon Energy. Switch in Goth, protect, protect. Okay, he's fucking Shed Shell Celesteela. Interesting. Okay, well, I know I live everything, and he's got fake out. Uh, Surely I live a scarf. Just gonna do a quick calc. Scarf, uh, close combat. Oh my grab locked. I've like max bulk. Drachion, choice scarf, level 50. Jolly, definitely. Would live a double up as well. I think I just go straight up. Stuke Octopus. Uh, with Delmize. Magneton. Thwacky Suicune. Okay. Well, let's give it a shot. I'm not too worried about anything you will do. I might just want to close combat. Wacky, and I will. Immune to paralysis. I wish I was immune to burn right now. Okay, he's letting me get Trick Room up. Yeah, he just, wow, detect, fuck me. <sighs> okay. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna switch out the other way. It's fine. You're mainly here to support, right? Maybe I should have led Delmice because that gives me the grassy glide without getting faked out. Uh, and I'd have priority grassy terrain. How's this Delmice doing into Suicune? Grassy glide and grassy terrain. Helping hand. A lot of damage. If he knocks me off, I have Clover Berry. Really, I just need two KOs and then I can start soaking things. I can't soak yet because then he just switches out. It does force a switch out, though, especially with. And Detect would have been so fucking good there. <laughs> Let's see. It does a fair amount. Scald into knockoff. Wow. Dubsy burns. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Let's see how beefy you are. This was on to a max. HP 100 defense Suicune. And it's still a 50% chance to KO. Given what Thunderbolt was doing, I think this is a guaranteed KO. Yep. Good. And a U-turn. What goes first? Heal or... Okay. Uh, he'd probably knock off air slashes me here. Okay, air slash, knock off, yep. Now, does he see this coming? Oh, I can't grassy glide, though. But I can start soaking with Magneton. Yes, let's go. Okay, good. And U turn. Oh, that's a problem. think I just protect this turn because he can use close combat or you can also just air slash I gotta go pretty big or go home here I think I'm gonna double the Terrakion and hope that he switches out and target his targets <sighs> the octopus. Okay, protect is also good. Ah, okay. Oh my god, through the burn! Oh, and he has to bring out the thwacky! Amazing. Okay, so I soak Grassy Glide. Or 
Or do I just... Might not hit hard enough. And then I probably died air slash. Yeah. There's the Colber. Do I live? Yes! And I got the Soak. Okay, let's get a fake out. Uh, I think I protect here for his protect. Or do I just Grassy Glide? Yeah, I protect. Yep. He didn't protect, though. That sucks. Okay, so now he protects. So I guess I double this guy. If he doesn't protect, fuck me. He called me pretty hard there. Ah, uh, yeah, he got me on that protect, and I think I lose if he just double attacks now. Hold on, knock off. Eat the Colber Berry, so it'll do 27% again, actually. So I think I have to go for this. Actually, I can probably calc this. Grassy Glide. 86% to a water type Celesteela. Sorry, I'm doing calcs. Uh, water. None. Whoa, he's really fucking tanky. Ingress. Oh, helping hand is off. Did 86. So he's probably just max. Right, that would make sense. So, how much is a grapple locked, uh, burned close combat doing? 23 to 27.4. Holy shit, that killed him! Holy shit! He has to stall out. He has to stall out terrain. Double protect. Please. 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 No. Oh, that's heartbreaking, man. <laughs> oh. That's heartbreaking. I uh, still had the 5% uh, chance to win on the air slash miss. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to say there. He called me out with that Protect, uh, which I thought won him the game, but then he attacked the Grapple Lock, probably predicting me? Or predicting that Thwacky wouldn't die, which honestly, that surprised me too. And then the double Protect to win. And no other hacks to speak of here. Game one had the overheat miss, but that didn't matter. Uh, that's honestly a series for the books.
probably one of the most entertaining sets I've been a part of. Yeah, I think we both played very well. No shame losing that. I even fucking called it out. Double protect. I mean, obviously, it was his play. He had to make the play. He just got the play. That's what happens. GG's to Jace. And now I need to beat Bohm to make the playoffs, I think. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.